Simplifying fractions. First we need to get the greatest common divisor, hereby called GCD, then divide the numerator and the denominator by the GCD. This is the procedure for calculating the GCD. If, numer if the numerator is equal to 0, take the denominator as the GCD. Repeat while the denominator is not equal to 0. If the numerator is more than the denom denominator, subtract the numerator from the denominator and make that the new denominator. Numerator. Otherwise, uh, subtract the numerator from the denominator and make that the new denominator. Take the numerator as the GCD. So let's take the fraction 21 over 21, which we already know is 1 over 1, or just 1, whole, in its simplest form. Now let's work out the GCD for it. If 21 equals 0, take 21 as the GCD. This statement is false, so we don't take it as the GCD. Repeat while 21 is not equal to 0. In, the, in this case, 21 is not equal to 0, so we calculate the block this time. If 21 is more than 21, this statement is false, so let's skip until after otherwise. 21 minus 21 equals 0. Our new value for the denominator is 0. Our numerator is still 21. Now let's skip back to the repeat statement. Repeat while 0 is not equal to 0. In this case, 0 is equal to 0, so we don't, block, we, don't, we don't do the block anymore. Let's skip to after the block. Take 21 as the GCD. OK, so now we know our GCD is 21. Now let's divide both our numerator and denominator by 21. 21 divided by 21 equals 1. This is our new numerator. Next, 21 divided by 21 equals 1. This is our new denominator. So we have it. The simplest form of 21 over 21 is 1 over 1, or 1 whole, or just 1. Okay, now let's take a more interesting number. 4 over 16. Okay, if 16 equals 0, takes this scene as the GCD. This statement is false, so we don't take it as the GCD. Repeat while 16 is not equal to 0. In this case, 16 is not equal to 0, so we calculate the block this time. If 4 is more than 16, this statement is false, so let's skip until after otherwise. 16 minus 4 equals 12. Our new value for the denominator is 12. Our numerator is still 4, so let's skip back to the repeat statement. Repeat while 12 is not equal to 0. In this case, 12 is not equal to 0, so we calculate the block this time. If 4 is more than 12, this statement is false, so let's skip until after otherwise. 12 minus 4 equals 8. Our new value for the denominator is 8. Our numerator is still 4. Now let's skip back to the repeat statement. Repeat while 8 is not equal to 0. In this case, 8 is not equal to 0, so we calculate the block this time. If 4 is more than 8, this statement is false, so let's skip until after otherwise. 8 minus 4 equals 4. Now, our new value for the denominator is 4. Our numerator is still 4, so let's skip back to the repeat statement. Repeat while 4 is not equal to 0. In this case, 4 is not equal to 0, so we calculate the block this time. If 4 is more greater than 4, this statement is false, so let's skip until 
after otherwise. 4 minus 4 equals 0. Our new value for the denominator is 0. Our numerator is still 4. Now let's skip back to the repeat statement. Repeat while 0 is not equal to 0. In this case, 0 is not equal to 0, so we don't calculate the block this time. So GCD equals 4. Take the numerator as the GCD. And we have our GCD. It's 4. OK. Now let's divide the numerator and the denominator by the GCD. 4 divided by 4 equals 1. Our new numerator is 1. 16 divided by 4 equals 4. Our new denominator is 4. After simplification, 1 over 4, or 1 quarter. Here's some Python code that simplifies the fraction 4 over 6, 4 sixteenths. Um, here's the link. I will try to link it on YouTube too. It's also it also has some other implementations implementations of the GCD function.